A few months ago, I created a video on ENS, which is a complicated idea for beginners and isn't really a trendy topic, so it only had 5,000 views. Recently, the protocol behind ENS actually did an airdrop, resulting in me and a ton of other people earning over $11,000 just for my initial investment of 60 to register the name whiteboardcrypto.eth. I'm here to share something newer and quite possibly even better than ENS. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, we are going to be explaining what unstoppable domains is, how they might be better than ENS, and what that means for people getting into the complicated crypto space. Before we actually get to understanding the power of unstoppable domains, the first thing we'll need to do is understand DNS. Here at Whiteboard Crypto, we love using examples, so that's exactly what we're going to be using to help you understand DNS. So DNS stands for Domain Name Service, which is a fancy way of saying that it is a helpful service which allows us humans to type in human-readable addresses into the search bar, and then it will automatically turn them into machine-readable addresses. So most of you are probably familiar with IP addresses, and those are exactly how a computer at one end of the internet knows how to talk specifically to another computer somewhere else, and not just scream it into the abyss that is the web. When you type in google.com and you hit enter, your computer sends a message to your internet service provider saying, yo, where's Google? The internet service provider finds out and goes to where Google is, tells them that you are looking for them, and then grabs a package back to send to you. Now, the package is then unpacked by your computer to show you the entirety of the google.com homepage. Using complicated math and software, all of this communication happens behind the scenes, but to you, it's simple and user-friendly. In fact, if we had to type in 8.8.8.8 into the URL bar instead of google.com, a lot more people would be confused, right? We don't speak in numbers or IP addresses, we speak in .coms, .orgs, and .nets, because it makes sense to us. So that's essentially what a DNS is, a translator for humans to speak machine code. Next up, let's see how this works for crypto. ENS is essentially the same thing that I just mentioned, except it's for Ethereum. ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service, and pretty much lets me tell you that whiteboardcrypto.eth is my wallet address, so you can simply type that in and pay me $20 if you want. By the way, if you don't have $20 and you want to support the channel, feel free to leave a like below. It's free and it rewards all our hard work on this video and the past hundred that we've been really hard at work creating. But anyways, if you're not used to understanding crypto, the alternative to sharing whiteboardcrypto.eth with someone is I'd have to share them this. I can't tell someone that, and I couldn't reliably type that into a computer. You have to copy and paste it. And that is essentially what ENS does, is translate whiteboardcrypto.eth into that address. Now, as you saw the title, this video is about unstoppable domains. So just like ENS is similar to DNS, unstoppable domains is similar to ENS. However, I have noticed it's got around four big edges that make it a little bit better. Number one, they allow multiple wallets. So personally, I think the coolest thing Unstoppable Domains does is create a multi-wallet wallet. And this means you can add your wallets for different coins into their software, and then you can literally have a whiteboard.crypto account for Ethereum, for Bitcoin, for Cardano, Solana, and a bunch of other coins that they have listed. Similar to how DNS works, the domains you create are actually resolved to a public address. And whenever you configure your domain with a wallet address you own, any funds sent to that domain address will be sent straight to your wallet. And this is a huge thing for mass multi-chain adoption. It's worth noting ENS only works for Ethereum, not Bitcoin, Cardano, or Solana that I mentioned earlier. Next up is web hosting. So with ENS domains, the idea is mostly a simple wallet that reroutes your Ethereum address. With an unstoppable domain, you can get a wallet name that you can reroute to many other coins, plus you literally are getting a domain name. Now this means you can host an actual website on whatever domain you reserve. Personally, I have some plans for whiteboard.crypto, but it's too early to share. Technically, you can do this with ENS, but unstoppable domains makes it a lot simpler. ENS also only lets you claim .eth addresses, while unstoppable domains let you claim .crypto, .zill, .coin, .wallet, and a few others. One thing to note here is that for both of these domain services to host a website, you must use a browser that supports the extensions like .crypto or .eth, and I'll actually talk about this later on in the video. 
Another way unstoppable domains seems to me to be better than ENS is because they actually only charge a one-time fee, while ENS is based on payment per year. For whiteboardcrypto.eth on ENS, I paid around $60 to lock in 10 years, and I actually did this a few months ago, and since then, gas fees have probably made that seem very affordable. For me, I personally think the largest difference here is the difference between ownership of a name instead of a subscription to a name. Unstoppable domains have price is less than $60, and you'll never have to worry about forgetting to renew your address. Lastly, they're moving to Layer 2. So speaking of seeming affordable, Unstoppable Domains is actually launching on Polygon soon, meaning they're moving from the main Ethereum network to a Layer 2 network which will allow them to have much more throughput and way cheaper fees. Technically, you won't have any gas fees at all to pay for minting an address other than the very first origination fee. For those of you that are curious, the domains will actually be ERC721 NFTs that are on the Polygon network, which means you can also trade or sell them, and you can view them on OpenSea. Now it's time to talk about risks, because there is one bad thing I see about unstoppable domains, and that is that they are, in a form, centralized. Even though you don't have to enter your personal information like a real name or home address, if you pay with crypto, then they will have access to your IP address, the email that you signed up with, or your crypto payment address. This doesn't mean much though, since even using MetaMask puts your IP and wallet address out there in the open anyways, but the way that they reserve the specific domains is centralized. Currently, one of their largest products, a domain ending with .crypto, does not work on most browsers, unless you use a special extension. So if you want to host a website and want someone to view it, you'll have to ask them to install Brave, or Unstoppable Domains extension. Or wait until it becomes a standard in the traditional Web 2.0 world. A browser like Brave will actually convert your turtlecat.crypto domain into an IP address just like it does for any other website, after which you can browse the site like you would Google or Facebook. And I'm saying all of this to show you how .crypto and .zil work is exactly the same as how .com or .org work, except the group of people controlling the URL part of the internet, or ICANN, they haven't made .crypto or .zil a standard yet. This is probably because every portion of every .com sale, they actually receive a portion of, but they do not receive a portion of every .crypto domain sale. Personally, even with these risks, I still think we need a service like Unstoppable Domains to help onboard new crypto users. Their interface is very user-friendly, the fees are much lower, and there are no gas fees moving forward. Plus, since they create human-readable addresses among many different wallets, they are clearly a tool that new New users will appreciate. For those of us who have already invested in DeFi, understanding wallet addresses and how smart contracts work is like a second nature, but only a few years ago, or for me a few months ago, a lot of these ideas were over our heads. Just like you don't necessarily need to know how Chrome actually loads your Facebook.com page by using DNS, IPv6, HTML, and JavaScript, you don't necessarily need to know exactly how crypto works to use it. Instead, just like you type in Facebook.com and hit go, new users just need to know that sending money in crypto is just as easy as asking someone to pay Alice.crypto. Thank you guys so much for watching this educational video about unstoppable domains, but I will say for the rest of this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to register a new domain and sharing the process with you so that you can follow along or see how simple it is. Let's dig in. All right, we're here at unstoppabledomains.com and I'm actually gonna show you how to set up a new unstoppable domain. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be registering turtlecat.crypto. And you can see that it's available for $40. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add to cart. I'm gonna go to my cart and pretty much, uh, yes, I live in the United States, my zip code. And then I wanna continue with email. So here you can see that you can actually select credit card, PayPal, cryptocurrency, or the crypto.com app. So I wanna pay with Ethereum. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually click on Ethereum down here, and then we are going to copy this address, go up to our MetaMask account and click send. And then I'm gonna paste the address in, and then the amount of Ethereum I'm going to send is the exact amount that they have shared here. And even though it's calculated at a little less than 40, this is what they're asking for, so that's how much I'm going to send. I'm gonna double check those, 8453, 8453 with two leading zeros. So that's what I'm gonna pay with. We're gonna go ahead and click next. As you can see here, the transaction fee is gonna be $24. And that's just because right now, Ethereum is very congested. So to get your transaction first in line, you have to pay basically $23. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pay that. But I would not recommend you paying that right now. 
As you can see, they've automatically updated that they have detected a payment, and now we basically wait for that payment to be confirmed. If we go here and we click on these three dots and view account in Etherscan, we can actually see that 20 seconds ago, that transaction was made. And if we click on that transaction, you can see here there are two block confirmations. And some places like to see 10, other like to see 35. And what this means is that there's actually, in this block, there's two more blocks that have been confirmed in front of it. And so this is to ensure that this transaction actually doesn't get reverted because of some fork in the network. The more block confirmations you have, the more secure this transaction is. There we go, they've emailed the receipt to my email, and then they've also again showed me how much I paid. So if I go here to go to my domains, now I actually own turtlecat.crypto. And what I can do is, that's currently not minted. However, what I can do is I can do a free mint. And right now they actually have a layer 2 capability, which means you can mint for free on Polygon. And we're going to continue and do that. They're going to send us a verification code, and over here on the other monitor, I'm going to find it, and instead of trying to type it in, I'm not sure if that's an I or a 1, so I'm just going to paste it in. There we go, it worked. I'm going to use MetaMask to mint. And then this is basically verifying that we actually own this wallet. And then this is the address that it's going to be sent to, so we basically just click I understand, and then confirm it. And now, turtlecat.crypto will always be associated with this account. So I've went ahead and I went up here to domains and then selected my domains. Let me get it here. And then I clicked on the turtlecat.crypto that I bought and you click on manage. And this allows you to edit all of your wallet addresses. So you can see here I could simply input my Bitcoin address, my Ethereum address, which has automatically been added, Litecoin, XRP, Zill. And using this add currency, I can add any other currency that they have listed. For example, I could add Cardano. And you can see that it's been added here. And then I simply just paste in my Cardano address and confirm changes. And that'll basically make it. So whenever someone sends money to turtlecat.crypto, it'll go to this ADA address. Now also before I end this video, I wanted to share with you that you can actually edit the website stuff, but it will be coming soon. You can also verify your domains, you can add profile, there's like pictures and stuff you can do, and definitely you can transfer or sell your domain. So it's a bunch of really cool features on Unstoppable Domains, but I wanted to say one more thing real quick at the end of this video. I believe for Cyber Monday, they're actually doing a buy one, get one sale. So if you buy one domain, you get another domain for free actually, that is the same value or less. In fact, I think this is the only sale that they ever actually do, and it only happens once per year. And if you're interested in setting up an Unstoppable Domain account, you can purchase through that link, and it'll actually support the channel. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, I hope to see you in our next video.